The opening scene introduces us to Duna, a former member of the girl group Dream Street. One day as she's on a stage at a concert, the cheering crowd suddenly transforms into a vast body of water. Duna is engulfed in it and as she's about to drown, she wakes up from her sleep, realizing it was just a nightmare. Elsewhere, two friends, Su Jin and Wan Jun, set out on their journey to Seoul. The former, who is an avid fan of Dream Suite, proudly displays his merchandise in his car. Meanwhile, Wan Jun is headed to Seoul to be closer to his university. Upon arriving at his shared apartment, he comes across one of his roommates. She is none other than the renowned singer Duna. Oblivious to her identity, he greets her warmly, but his attempts at conversation go unnoticed. Later, he meets up with other housemates, including Jung Hoon, who provides him with a thorough rundown of the house rules, and Yun Tak, who warmly welcomes him. In the next scene, Won Jun is in the midst of creating pamphlets to advertise his math tutoring services. However, he is easily distracted when he catches sight of Duna through his window. Later that day, he once again spots her on the rooftop engaged in a phone call. As soon as Duna notices him, she hastily sends a text to someone, warning of a potential stalker in the building. Later on, Wan Jun receives a call from Su Jin, who shares the exciting news that he has secured a tutoring client for him. The next day as our hero heads out, he finds himself humming one of Dream Suite's songs. This catches the attention of Duna, who accuses him of being a stalker. However, Wan Jun quickly clarifies that he doesn't even recognize her up until now. He then walks away before she can ask him anything. Later, he has a successful meeting with the client's mother, and his job is all but secured. As he's making his way home, he unexpectedly runs into an old friend, Jin Ju. The two haven't seen each other in years, so they decide to grab some drinks. While catching up on their lives, they learn that they'll be going to the same university for their advanced studies. Jin Ju appears to be very happy about this, but Wan Jun appears neutral. Later, when he returns home, he finds Duna sitting outside in the snow, visibly upset. She tries to walk away, but suddenly collapses, prompting our hero to rush her to the hospital. The following morning, he gets a distressing call from Su Jin, informing him that the potential client has lost interest in his services due to suspicions of him being a smoker. Wan Jun is shocked as he doesn't smoke at all, but after pondering it for a while, he realizes that he may have picked up the smoke during his earlier interaction with Duna. After our heroine is released from the hospital, her attitude towards Wan Jun completely changes. She now sees him as a kind and handsome man who is always ready to help others. In the following days, she persistently follows him and even invites him to meals. However, this only irritates our hero and he ends up shouting at her. The next morning, he feels guilty about his earlier words, so he decides to stop by her place. Wan Jun then offers to take her out for a meal whenever she's available. After a few days, Duna surprises him by showing up at his school in the midst of a lesson. She reminds him of his promise, and he gladly takes her out. Later, they enjoy ice cream together, which marks the beginning of their friendship. Following this, we're taken back in time to when Duna had resigned from her job. In the midst of a concert, she suddenly collapsed and a man rushed to her aid. It's then revealed that Duna resigned from her band Dream Suite due to her inability to cope with the overwhelming pressures of stardom. Back in the present, Won Jun is surprised to discover that Jin Ju is working at the same workplace as him. In a flashback, it's revealed that the two of them first crossed paths in high school. Later on, Duna tries to contact him, but he's too busy to talk. She then calls a certain P, but he doesn't answer as well. A flashback reveals a moment when she received a call from a man, presumably P, who scolded her for not maintaining a low profile. Returning to the present, Wan Jun asks Duna about the reason for her call, and she admits that she just wanted to hear his voice. Caught off guard, he becomes flustered and remains silent. The following evening, Wan Jun attends a welcome party for the new semester of his civil engineering class. There, he receives a call from Duna, but their conversation is abruptly interrupted by some random men who seize his phone. Duna, who happens to be nearby buying drinks, arrives just as the situation escalates. She gets angry at the men and attempts to strike one of them with the wine bottle she's holding. Won Jun uses a helmet to prevent the violent act, though he sustains a minor cut on his hand in the process. Later on, he encounters Jin Ju, who is surprised to see him with a famous pop idol. She expresses her admiration for Duna's band and asks if she can join them. After this, they all return to the shared house for drinks and have a wonderful time together. Duna admits that she's envious of the bond between Ju Jin and Won Jun, as she has never had any genuine friends in her life. She almost stumbles while preparing to leave, but our hero quickly steps in and holds her. They then share a tender moment, and Duna takes a step closer to kiss him. However, she hesitates at the last second and walks away. The next morning, Won Jun can't stop thinking about the almost kiss. Later on, he invites her for dinner with his housemates, and she happily accepts. After eating a delicious meal, he asks her why she quit music. Duna thinks about it for a while and finally says she can't sing anymore. 
Through a flashback, it's revealed that she told her manager and her group members about her skyrocketing anxiety, but they paid little attention. In the present, Wonjin expresses his concern for Duna's well-being and advises her to take better care of herself. Later, she unexpectedly finds a birthday present and a note on her table. She quickly rushes out in search of the mysterious person, but finds no one. Meanwhile, Wonjin stumbles upon old photos with him and Jinju. A flashback reveals that they were very close, although they never officially defined their relationship. In the meantime, Duna becomes aware that someone is stalking her and taking photos of her without her knowledge. Panicked, she quickly shuts her windows and searches for hidden cameras, but finds none. In an attempt to calm herself, she retreats to the bathroom, but ends up accidentally locking herself inside. Elsewhere, Wan Jun asks Jinju out on a date, to which she agrees. Excited, he decides to share the news with Duna, but learns that she's locked in the bathroom. As soon as he breaks her out, she rushes into his arms and embraces him. Later, when Duna says she's run out of cigarettes, Wan Jun mentions seeing them in her cabinet. In a sudden burst of anger, she grabs the cigarettes and throws them to the floor, adamantly claiming they aren't hurt. The next morning, Wan Jun eagerly gets ready for his date with Jin Ju. Upon meeting, they share a delightful time, fondly recalling their high school days. Everything goes smoothly until our hero mentions Duna. Judging by the expression on her face, it's obvious that Jin Ju is jealous of her. While returning home, the two are caught in the rain, so they take cover at a bus station. Shortly after, her friend Sahoon spots them while driving by. As he offers them a ride, he inadvertently overhears Wan Jun's conversation with Yun Tuk over the phone. He recognizes the voice immediately, revealing that he and Yun Tuk are old friends. Following this, the trio makes their way to the shared house and they have some fun conversation. When asked about his connection with Jin Ju, Sahoon clarifies that they aren't dating, but see each other as soulmates. This revelation stings Won Jun, as he and Jin Ju used to share the same sentiment about each other. After the small conversation, Duna joins him to pick up some ice cream for everyone. Upon returning, she decides to stay back and have a smoke. Won Jun, being thoughtful, lends her his hoodie before heading back inside with the ice cream. Unfortunately, Jin Ju spots a girl wearing his hoodie, which makes her a bit jealous. A few days later, the girls meet again at a basketball game, and they cheer enthusiastically for the boys. After the game, Duna advises Wan Jun to confess his feelings for Jin Ju, especially because Sahoon seems to be making a move on her. However, our hero reveals that he had confessed to her before, but she never gave him a clear answer. Instead, she claimed to be busy, and they never saw each other again until a year later. As days pass, Won Jin continues to spend his time with Jin Ju, but the latter is bugged out by the fact that Duna seems to rely on him quite a lot. Later, he invites her for drinks at his house alongside his other housemates. During their conversation, Duna reveals that she's being stalked by someone. She then points out a man who is secretly taking photos of her from outside the window. Acting swiftly, Won Jin chases after the man with everyone following suit. Upon catching up to him, Duna threatens to smash a bottle on his head, but ultimately reconsiders. Our hero then forces the guy to hand over all the pictures he took of her. They ultimately let him go, because they don't want to involve the police. Later at Duna's place, Wonjin finds her asleep and notices a message on her phone from the mysterious P. Strangely, the man accuses her of being a proficient liar and sternly warns her to cut off all contact with him. The next day, Duna drops by Wunjun's new workplace at an amusement park. Despite his hectic schedule, she patiently waits for him to finish his shift. Later in the evening, the two go out for dinner and she opens up about the process of discovering who she truly is. In turn, he also opens up about his family, particularly sharing the challenges of having a sick sister and an aging mother. The two then check their fortune cookies and Wunjun is taken aback when his fortune predicts that he will encounter an enemy. Later, during their bus ride together, Duna reads her fortune, which advises her to leave behind a past relationship and focus on a new one. The following morning, Won Jin shares the details of the fortune cookie with Jin Ju. However, their conversation is abruptly interrupted by a couple having a dramatic breakup on the school grounds. Our hero wonders if he recognizes the girl, but quickly dismisses the thought. After this, he hands Jin Ju his fortune cookie note, but she's astonished to learn that it states something entirely different. It turns out Duna had intentionally slipped her fortune cookie note into Won Jun's pants while he was asleep during the bus ride. In the meantime, the girl from earlier, Ira, finds herself devastated by her recent breakup. In an effort to cheer her up, her friends include her in a group date. They want her to enjoy the night and forget about what happened. Elsewhere, the news of Duna being spotted with a guy starts circulating as a photo of her with Wan Jun emerges. Jinju also comes across the same photo, which makes her upset. 
The next day, Duna approaches Wonjun in his room, suggesting they go on a date. As she sifts through his closet, he advises her to keep some of his clothes to dissuade any potential stalkers. Just then, he receives an urgent call from Yun Tuk, insisting he come to the address he sent. Our hero believes that his friend is in trouble, so he rushes to the said location. But upon arrival, he discovers that he's been roped into a group date, and his partner is none other than Ira. In an unexpected turn of events, it's revealed that the two have history together. They were childhood frenemies, and she used to bully him until she eventually left for Brazil. During their group date, Won Jun acts like he doesn't recognize Ira. He doesn't even show any interest in her, which makes his friends upset. So they play a game where all the couples have to kiss each other. When Ira attempts to get closer to him, he clearly evades her. But in the end, he eventually confesses that he knows her. In response, she playfully grabs him and gives him a kiss. Upon arriving home, Won Jun discovers Duna waiting for him outside. She smells the lingering scent of alcohol and women's perfume on him. When our hero admits to being with another girl, she moves closer to him and unexpectedly kisses him. Taken aback, he mentions that kissing friends is not typical for him. However, she nonchalantly suggests he move on, much like everyone else. Later while leaving work, Wonjin stumbles upon a notice at the gate stating that Duna is looking for female roommates. In the meantime, Sehun calls Jinju and confesses his feelings for her. He wants them to become a couple and start dating. However, she politely turns him down, saying that she's in love with someone else. Jinju then leaves her parents' house, promising never to come back again. It's revealed that she's been struggling due to her strained relationship with her father, who not only tries to take control of her life, but also hurls derogatory remarks her way. Shortly after, she receives a threatening message from him urging her to come back home immediately. However, she isn't going to let him intimidate her anymore, so she blocks him for good. Later that day, Ira learns about the vacancy on Duna's floor, so she moves into the shared house as well. Jinju also joins him after her departure from her parents' house, and the three of them become roommates. In the next scene, Jinju confides in Duna that she's about to express her feelings for Wan Jun. She mentions that she loves him a lot and wants to be with him. In response, our girl says that she can't wish her good luck because she has feelings for him too. Nevertheless, Jinju is confident about her chances as she shares a unique history with him. Later that evening, she goes to his room to borrow a blanket. While looking around his place, she stumbles upon old pictures of them, stirring up nostalgic memories. Unfortunately, she also discovers a box of Duna's cigarettes on his bed, which makes her sad. Shortly after, Wan Jun suggests they take a walk, and Jinju takes this opportunity to finally confess her feelings for him. She explains that her family issues made her hesitant to pursue a relationship with him. Hearing this, our hero expresses regret and mentions that his feelings have changed over time. That night, Duna also confesses her feelings for him, and he responds by kissing her. The following day, Wonjin pays a visit to his hometown and catches up with his friends. At night, he conducts an online research on the famous idol, Duna. After going through several websites, he learns that her mother was involved in a debt and fraud scandal. Won Jun then impulsively calls her and says that he loves her a lot. He also shows his genuine interest in understanding her better. Upon arriving home in Seoul, he finds Duna in his bed waiting for him. Our hero goes straight to her, and the two share a comforting cuddle. The next morning, she emerges from his room, sparking curiosity amongst the roommate. When questioned about their relationship, Won Jun admits that he likes her a lot. Hearing this, Jinju is heartbroken, but manages to conceal her emotions in front of the other. In the next scene, Duna's mother pays her a visit, urging her to consider returning to the group as they are about to release a new album. When she emphasizes the financial benefits, our heroine questions if she truly understands the reason behind her departure from the music industry. However, mom appears clueless, and she attributes it to her daughter's laziness and ill-tempered attitude. Afterward, Duna attends the release of Dream Suite's new album. She tries to blend into the crowd to avoid being recognized by the manager. After the show, she receives a message from P saying he's aware of her presence at the venue. That night, Wonjin stays awake nervously waiting for his girlfriend to return. When Ira notices his distress, she advises him to take things at a slower pace. She then points out the challenges tied to Duna's celebrity status and expresses concern that he might be investing too much of himself into his relationship. Soon after, Wonjin receives a call from Duna, who asks him to meet her at a station. Our hero rushes to the location and finds her there. Surprisingly, she suggests they go on a vacation and takes Won Jun to her late grandmother's cottage. The following morning, Ira follows Jung Ju to his jiu-jitsu training club and invites him for lunch afterward. The latter is a bit shocked, but he eventually agrees. Elsewhere, Duna and Won Jun enjoy a romantic stroll hand in hand, expressing their love for each other. Upon arriving at the cottage, they encounter a man, presumably the manager, P, waiting for them. 
As soon as our girl notices him, she instinctively releases Won Jun's hand and walks towards him. In a flashback, we see young Duna making a call to P, now revealed to be named Park, the head of talent recruitment at MSA. During the call, she expresses her desire to become an idol, and Park decides to help her out. Following this, we witness her transformation into a successful singer, who is adored by millions of fans. In the present, Duna drives away with Park, leaving Won Jun at her grandmother's cottage. Despite her unusual behavior, he chooses to wait patiently for her return. Afterward, Duna confronts Park about the time when he abruptly left her and ignored her calls. In response, he simply says that they need to mend her career before she fades away from the public's memory. He wants her to get back into the industry as soon as possible. However, a frustrated Duna says she wants to be forgotten. She then takes a leap from the moving car, injuring her leg in the process. Park is worried about her actions, but he says that she is being overly dramatic. Fuming with anger, Duna insists that he was aware of her feelings for him, but he still played with her emotions and abandoned her. Park retaliates by pointing out that she quit Dream Sweet during their tour and argues that she used him to advance her career. He also urges her to stop portraying herself as the victim. Later, after receiving medical attention, Duna adamantly refuses to re-enter his car, asserting that she is no longer swayed by any threats. Meanwhile, Won Jun, who is tired of waiting for her, decides to leave. He then returns to his hometown and pays a visit to his sick sister at the hospital. The next day, he arrives at the shared house to find Duna waiting in his room. She apologizes for leaving him alone last night, but our hero is in no mood to listen. He believes that she has no genuine feelings for him and that she sees him as just another guy. In a flashback, we witness a conversation between Duna and Park after she fainted on stage. She confides in him about her inability to continue singing, and he advises her to take a break. Recalling the initial promise he made to her, Duna gets very angry about her current circumstances. That evening, she enters Won Jun's room and abruptly embraces him. During this, he notices the smell of tobacco on her and asks if it's from Park. Duna doesn't respond to this, but says that Won Jun is the only one she truly wants. Subsequently, the two of them rekindle their relationship and become close again. However, a new challenge arises when Duna realizes her longing for the stage. In a flashback, we see her attending a concert with Won Jun. During the event, the singer recognizes her as the dream sweet idol and extends an invitation for her to join him on the stage. The moment our girl steps onto the stage, her passion for music is reignited. Upon discovering this, Won Jun assures her of his support and genuinely expresses his eagerness to hear her sing. She mentions that their relationship could completely transform after her comeback. However, he remains optimistic, insisting that they can navigate through these changes together. As days pass, she finds herself increasingly drawn to the stage. Meanwhile, our hero dedicates himself to supporting his family, particularly as his sister prepares for surgery. During his absence, Duna receives a letter from her former label. The document states that a lawsuit has been filed against her because she abruptly left the band. This sends our girl into a state of panic, and with no one to turn to, she contacts Park. She explains the entire situation to him and asks for guidance. In response, Park reveals that the label's president is still angry about how she abandoned the group. Now, the only way to avoid the lawsuit is to stage her comeback before the label initiates a defamation campaign. Park also emphasizes that this is her final chance for a comeback and there can be no distractions. This means she will have to break up with her boyfriend one June. Our girl is devastated upon hearing this, but she has no choice but to comply. Later, when she can't take the burden any longer, she seeks solace in Jinju. The latter warmly embraces her, despite the fact that they both like the same guy. Upon his return, Won Jun discovers that Duna has been relying on sleeping pills. He also notices discarded cigarettes in the trash, which are usually smoked by Park. Enraged, he confronts the man, warning him to keep his distance from Duna. However, the latter advises him to face the harsh reality. He emphasizes that Duna's comeback carries significant risks, particularly concerning her complicated history. So, for the sake of her career, he wants Won Jun to break up with her. In the next scene, Duna, who is determined to stage a comeback, organizes a meeting with Park and President Ma. Together, they reach an agreement that provides her with creative freedom to choose both songs and artists for collaboration. However, she still finds herself struggling with the dilemma of ending things with Won Jun. Afterward, Park informs her that he had a word with her boyfriend and recommends cutting ties with everyone in her current circle. Duna asks what they talked about, but he refuses to tell her anything. Following these events, Won Jun struggles to sleep as he finds himself obsessing over the conversation with Park. He becomes even more depressed when Duna makes her comeback in the music scene. Having had enough, he eventually opts to move out of the shared house. 
Days turn into months, and the two slowly start progressing with their respective lives. However, as soon as she begins her solo career, she secretly meets him and expresses her willingness to continue their relationship. She believes that once she establishes herself significantly, the public won't be concerned about her dating life. With confidence, she then asserts that as long as they have each other, they can make their relationship work. Unfortunately, Wan Jun holds a different perspective. He believes that their future is uncertain, so it would be best to end their relationship. Duna is shocked to hear this, as he was the one who encouraged her to return to stardom. She accuses him of betraying her when he had promised to always be by her side. She then boards a train and departs, leaving Wanju in tears. Several years pass by, and Duna has now established herself as a megastar. As for Wanjun, he has completed his military service and is now working at a firm. He occasionally meets up with his friends from his old shared house. Ira and Jung Hoon are now a couple and are living a happy life. Jinju is living in Brazil, and she has maintained her friendship with Duna. Finally, Yun Tuk has opened a coaching class where he encourages people to pursue love. Some years later, the gang, excluding Duna, gather at their old house for a reunion. They share drinks and reminisce about all the joyful moments they had there. Afterward, when Wonjin goes back inside to retrieve his jacket, he is taken aback to find Duna there. Turns out she was also informed of the reunion, but arrived a bit late. As they go out for drinks, Wan Jun maintains a casual yet cold demeanor, leaving her heartbroken. Unable to tolerate his attitude towards her, she decides to have a private conversation with him at his place. During their meeting, Duna expresses the pain of feeling abandoned and demands an apology. Despite Wan Jun's efforts to maintain a cold stance, he eventually breaks down. She then urges him to admit that he regrets leaving her, and he does. As emotions intensify, they share a tearful hug and confess their love for each other. Following this encounter, Won Jun and Duna focus on their respective lives as time continues to pass by. In the final scene, both of them coincidentally head to Japan for work, which paves the way for season two.